Now, from your weather authority, Chief Meteorologist Wayne Hart. Well, we had the threat for a little bit of stormy weather overnight, especially areas north-northeast of Evansville. And once whatever comes in overnight gets out of here early tomorrow, the rest of the weekend will be quiet but hot and humid. But a scary sight for Hoosiers earlier today as storms were firing up across Indiana. Now, this is video shared of a possible tornado touchdown in Jay County. Now, this was from earlier this afternoon up in northeastern Indiana. This possible tornado was spotted near the community of Bryant, and the National Weather Service has not been able yet to confirm that it was a tornado, but I'm sure they'll get out there tomorrow and survey. That same cluster of storms did produce tornadoes all the way along its track into central Ohio uh, late this afternoon. And that's the main storm track that I'm watching for tonight. But let's quickly review today. It was one of the hotter ones so far this year. Highs generally in the low 90s. We came in at 92 in Evansville, Owensboro, 91 Henderson. And the temperatures over the weekend will be similar, but the humidity will be a little bit lower. So it's not going to be quite as hot as it was today. It won't be quite as windy either. Uh, kind of a typical uh, summer weekend on the way, and we got the summer solstice, the astronomical start to summer on Sunday. Well, here's the severe thunderstorm watch along our U.S. 50 corridors. Now, the watch here in our Indiana counties, Knox, Davies, and Martin, that goes to 1 a.m. Central, 2 a.m. Eastern, and this goes to 4 a.m. up in uh, Central Illinois, but it's quiet right now in the immediate tri-state area, but let's take a look at what's going on to our north, because they've been getting pounded in central Indiana tonight with numerous severe storms. And we've got a line right now running from near Terre Haute down into the Bloomington area. It's got warnings all along it, and that's sliding to the east-southeast. I'm watching the area up here in central Illinois, and I'll show you the three-hour time lapse. We started to see development, and Storm Prediction Center issued the watch box, not necessarily because of that, but conditions are favorable throughout the overnight for storms to develop up here and then begin to slide to the east-southeast, and a few could get into northern portions of the tri-state, uh, especially north of I-64, but they'll arrive in a weakening fashion, so some uncertainty in terms of how much we're going to see, but it's been a great evening for Friday after 5 in downtown Owensboro. There's a live view from our roofclaim.com tower camera, and here's our Diamond Valley Federal Credit Union Tower camera on the Vandenberg Warwick County line. And boy, it's a warm night. It's still 82 degrees. A dew point, a muggy 69, but at least it's a breezy evening. That's helping take the edge off of all that uh, heat. South-southwest wind still at 16 miles per hour. We're in the low 80s. We'll probably wind up uh, low 70s to around 70 by daybreak tomorrow morning, depending on whether you get any rain. And then we'll watch also what's going on down to the south. Tropical system here is about to make landfall, but they haven't given it a name yet because they can't find an organized center. It is producing tropical storm force winds if they can find a center, it will be Claudette, but they only have a few more hours until it makes landfall, so it might just be a tropical-like system here when all is said and done, but we will not get the rain from that. They're certainly getting plenty of it on the central Gulf Coast. I'm watching this firing line to the north, and the Storm Prediction Center has brought that uh, risk for severe weather down to about the Ohio River. The slight risk is along and north of I-64. The enhanced threat is along and north of U.S. Highway 50. It's just a matter of how far south those storms make it overnight. Future Tracker updated version gets a little activity between now and 4 a.m. and then brings the main wave between 4 a.m. and daybreak in a weakening fashion down to about the river by 7 a.m. and everything kind of falls apart after the sun comes up. We break to a mix of sun and clouds, highs in the low 90s, and the rest of the day is fairly quiet. We could see a few showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Better chances would be up to the north. Spotty shower maybe tomorrow night. Sunday looks even drier with a mix of sun and clouds, an isolated shower to low 90s, but check out Monday. We've got a cold front moving on through with a few lines of showers and thunderstorms. This is 1 p.m. Monday afternoon, so widespread rain likely on Monday may be a severe weather threat than much cooler air coming in behind it. So overnight, scattered thunderstorms getting into at least our northern counties, maybe as far south as the river. Isolated severe storm possible especially north of 64, a warm 68 to 72. A few showers and thunderstorms around tomorrow. Best chance will be early in the day. Then a mix of sun and clouds, windy, hot, and humid, 90 to 93. Rain chances going down on Sunday with a high again of 91. The weather wear tag up for Monday as the showers and thunderstorms roll through 85. Humidity begins to fall in the afternoon. We clear Tuesday. A shot of cool air for the middle of next week. 76 the high. We're down to 55 Wednesday morning. And then we warm up to more scattered showers and 
thunderstorms uh, later next week. So we do have that uh, limited severe weather threat overnight, especially the northern counties. Great night to have a weather radio, but at least we're not worrying about tornadoes. If we see anything down here, will be pockets of damaging wind. All right. Thanks a lot, Wayne. Okay.